Hey there YouTube and welcome to my video from my trip to the Southern Park Mall which is in Boardman, Ohio, right near Youngstown, Ohio on Saturday, March 6th. Who knows when this video is going to be shown but the travel restriction had been lifted and this show was going on in Ohio. I was excited so I went ahead and crossed over in Ohio and went there with the goal to spend a hundred bucks. Well actually that was more like my limit and I spent 96 and it wasn't just on this pile. I'm gonna go and just show you what I got from the sellers and the first one I picked up here is all trading cards all trading cards here and I got a lot of TTM and a lot of PC here so starting off here I bought seven no nine cards for five dollars total so we got this Mookie Wilson rookie card I would imagine and this Walker Bueller Tops Now rookie card. So that's pretty cool. Shout out to Baseball Card Illustrated for the uh, Walker Bueller. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I hope they see that. Okay, so also there was those two cards were like dollar cards. And then there was these 7 cents cards, which came to five fifty, which I spent 5 bucks total. So, you know, Chris Hoke, I think he might have been TTMing for a bit. If not, he seems to be around every now and then. So there's a potential in-person uh, TTM request possibly for... Luke Walker, Quinn Priester just signed two of my cards not too long ago. If not, maybe I'll get him in person, you know, in future years for this Pirates prospect. Rocky Blyer, I heard he just said he stopped signing again, but I don't know. Nonetheless, that's a real pretty card. There's another Jerry Mullins card for TTM purposes. A lot of TTM cards here. Heard a rumor that Jeff Reed was signing. So there we go. There's a Super Bowl 40 card from Topps. All right, then I just bought a dollar card off of a seller because I know Colin Powell, you got one per lifetime, and I already had one. I didn't think I had one, but turns out I did, so whoops. When I went to file this in with my TTM cards, I saw I already had one. It's like, well, dag nabbit. <laughs> I guess I have a second one. I'll, I think I got some ideas on who to hook this up with. Somebody um, who doesn't watch the channel, actually, but I know he'll appreciate it, so okay. Next up, okay, there was this all came from one seller, and then the other thing behind here, that's a box, came from another seller. So this was a bunch of vintage cards, 20 vintage cards for a total of $30. Really should have been $34.75, we'll call it $30 what end up happening here. So these are all vintage cards here. We're talking TTM, Bob Johnson, Elroy Face. Vintage Pirates. These first uh, six cards were pretty beat up cards, and that's all right. We got Bill Verdon. There's a Steeler. We got Jerry Moon Mullins, another one of him. And there's Andy Russell. Very cool. You know, these ones the beat up cards. They got a nice crease there. I mean, those ones are not good condition at all. So here we go. Get into these nicer ones here. We got a Bob Skinner. Mm hmm. Bob Oldis, that's actually a real sharp looking 1960 card. Never sent to him, but I saw someone posting a success of him, so it's time to do it. Another Bob Skinner. John Gelnar, never knew that he signed, but I saw someone have a success. When I saw this card, bam, how to get it. There's another Luke Walker. Manny Mota. I've got too many Manny Motok cards as it is. I shouldn't have picked up. When I saw the price, it's like, wow, that's a good price. Bob Veal, sent to him once before. I don't know if he's still signing or not. Sent to him one time, John Moreland, and he was so appreciative of the request. Another Bob Johnson. This was obviously the nicest card of the batch. Look at that pretty looking team card. Ooh. That looked good with multiple signatures on it. We'll see. There's another Luke Walker. Picked up a few of his. There's another Bob Veal. And Chuck Hartenstein, who seemed really appreciative and friendly when I sent to him the one time in the past. So I have one more to show you, though, and this is going to be the big one. So I end up buying a box. This person had boxes and boxes of 10-cent cards. And I pulled 162 cards out, which I will flip through them rather quickly but I also asked about a box how much would one of the boxes be and he said it'd be $50 it's a it's a box of golf cards I, he's like the box of golf cards he's like I'd have to get $50 for it so as I continue racking up my normal dime cards here 
you know, when I got to 162, I thought, 1620. Normally, I'd try to do 15 bucks, and usually they would say yes. Um, if I offered 60 bucks total, I would feel comfortable because I was hoping he'd say forty dollars on the uh, box of golf cards. I really was hoping he'd say forty, and um, when he said fifty, I th well, so in my mind, I'm like, well, I'm getting, I'm going to in theory get over sixty percent of that back, the difference that I was hoping for. So he agreed to it. So I got a big box to show you, but I'm not going to flip through that whole box. That's just going to be like a show and tell box here. So here we have, you know, like a hundred. 62 cards and he had a box with vintage 70s vintage in it which was very impressive here golf cards you see it <laughs> there's a lot in there okay i'm mm -hmm. just going to flip through these real fast here i mean it's to a point where it's like should i even have bothered flipping i had purchased a bunch from this person before A lot of these people sign TTM, or I thought they did, or think they do, or they used to at some point, you know, so, yeah, dimes, got these for, he's not TTM, but nice guy, and it's that cup card, yeah, John Montefusco was really cool at the National back in uh, 2018, that's just PC there. Same with that. That's a pre-rookie, maybe, of Tina Martinez. There's a couple of racing cards. Got some little older basketball cards there. Chris Ford, I couldn't remember if he signed or not. There was a whole bunch of these rookies of Sean Kemp, so I bought those. There's a nice Robert Parrish. Yeah, I wish I knew more about some of these, yeah, former vintage basketball players. The, those cards there. That's PC. PC. He doesn't sign much at all. Wish there was more time I could have looked through the football, but that's okay. Yeah, there's all those rookies. Yeah, I have one card for him. Well, now I have a second one. I'm going to send out to Ed Acosta now. I mean, you know, it's, I'm looking at a lot of these and thinking, that's pretty cool. You know, 10 cent cards, finding a box with vintage in it from the 70s for 10 cents each, that's not something common by any means. So, as you can see, those of you who are pretty familiar with the TTM community probably are saying, you know, that's some good deals. You got some good TTM fuel there. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I, in my mind, I paid, you know, you could say ten bucks or sixteen twenty, depending which one you want to knock the deal off of. I want to knock the deal off of the uh, big box of golf cards here, because yeah, that's going to be that's going to keep my golf project alive and well for a long time. Uh, for TTM purposes, I just got him back for the first time not too long ago. I don't think he I don't think he's still signed, but he'd been very good signer for a long time. But yeah, whenever I've been sending out in 2021, I've been doing seven cards a week because i'm doing you know just pretty much one a day so seven a week and two of those seven have been golf projects because i've been slowly but surely working on my golf project going in alphabetical order and everything and um you know eventually that will end and i can start again with all of the golf cards that you're going to see behind me now i'm not sure what the you know how many cards in there i'll be able to use for ttm purposes but um yeah, I mean, Bill Lee's hilarious. I was so glad to find so many of them. And these being not pirate cards, like, you know, he was a pirate, but that's not a pirate uniform. I don't have many of the non-pirate uniforms, really. Like Vic Davalillo. <laughs> Greatest name ever. Oh, dang it. Oh, <laughs> That just snuck up on me. Uh, and that's Aussie, not, yeah, the other way. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Tag Nabbit. Oh, Matt Buller, be mature. Try to be mature. 
Oh, if I had a one in each hand, I could make a funny comment. Of, with this, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, so um, in here, I count them up. 1,705 golf cards. And I paid... His price was 50. Let's call it 45. That way I can say I spent 15 on this stack of 1620 and 45 on this box, which was 50, which using the 10 cent math would have been over $170. So in this row right here, 500 cards. There's your $50 right there. 500 cards. A lot of them are in penny sleeves. That's why it's taken up space. 600 cards, 605 cards. 500, 600, 605 cards. So over 1,700 golf cards. And a lot of these ones in penny sleeves had been priced individually. A dollar, dollar, 50 cents, 50 cents, two dollars, 50 cents, dollar, dollar, you know, two dollars, dollar, dollar, dollar. So, you know, two dollars, apparently that's a rookie, so I appreciate the people doing that, marking them as such. A lot of more modern cards. You have some older ones, older players here. You had some really nice looking older ones too. A lot of female golfers, which I've never sent to any of the female golfers. So we'll see how that pans out. But um, yeah, that was my trip. That that was the big purchase right there, no doubt. So that was my trip to the um, Southern Park Mall card show. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload a TTM video on Monday, and then I upload an autograph or trading card video, such as this one, on Wednesday and Saturday. So I really do appreciate people coming back to check out my different videos and uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing as well. So, all right. Take care, everybody.